So let me start espresso. So that was like two, three seconds start. And that was my first shot of the day. Okay. But I had stopped and noticed it stopped instantly. All right. So there's no wind down after starting. And two, okay, two seconds. Oh, I think I have this computer right now for two seconds. In fact, why don't I right now talk about the fast start, the cafe mode, because that's super interesting. All right, so I hit settings, and then I'm on machine, and then I hit calibrate. I know it's a little bit buried. More. Okay, so here I am with the new calibrate page, and there's a bunch of new settings here, and there's also a voltage. Let me talk about the voltage first, because this can affect 1.0 people. So the biggest thing we did when going from version 1.0 to 1.1, there's two things we did. One is we added an electrician's clamp on the inside on 1.1 so we can measure current draw. Um, and the second thing is, is we added future compatibility for the group head controller. That's the main difference between 1.0 and 1.1. Um, so 1.0 machines do not know what voltage the heaters are. Sorry, we didn't know that at the time because we didn't have so if you have a 1.0 machine and it doesn't know what voltage it is, the first time you run the app, it's gonna take you directly to this page. And right here where it says voltage, there will be two buttons set to 220, set to 230 or set to 120. It's not gonna break anything if you do the wrong thing. You won't go in on fire. It's just calibrating the machine to what you've got right there. Okay? And, and you should set it and then you set it once and it's, it's good forever. Okay? Um, now, the next thing is these four settings. <clears throat> so let me explain what these four settings do and what cafe defaults are and home defaults are. When the machine first starts up, when you press the espresso button, two things happen. First, the hot water heater heats up to about 110 Celsius under pressure. Then after that, it passes water through all the way right behind the group head and tests the water temperature again. And if that water temperature isn't good enough, it dumps it back into the water tank. Now in home mode, which is the home defaults, which are the defaults when you receive the machine, the water heater is kept at 80 Celsius in order to keep power consumption down a little bit and heat inside the chassis. And we also aim for the absolute best temperature accuracy. So those two steps, let me walk you through what happens. The heater, when, when you press espresso, heats from 80 Celsius to 110. This can take about 10 seconds. And water is slowly trickling through. Now we're measuring with a metal temperature sensor on the heater when it hits the, when we know to go to the next stage. So that first stage is just testing the metal temperature of the heater. That's what that preheat test is. Okay? And a small amount of water is going through. If you put tons of water through at that stage, then you'd be cooling the heater as you're trying to heat the heater. So you don't want to do that. And then as soon as the metal is at the right temperature, we go to the heater test stage, when we then put water through and we put it on home mode at two milliliters per second. Then we are heating the tubes and the valves and anything that's right before the coffee puck, because the only way to heat those parts is to put hot water through them. And at that point, we give up to another 10 seconds to get the water within 0.1 Celsius of the goal. Now, often your first shot of the day is going to take 20 seconds, right? 10 seconds to heat it up the first time, 10 seconds again. And that's because we're just going for the absolute best quality. And since you're at home, we think it's worth waiting another 10, 15 seconds to get the best temperature accuracy possible. Now, since we did that with 1.0, uh, our algorithms have gotten better. And the first stage, we can't do that much about. We have to bring the heater up to temperature. But if you put it in cafe mode, the heater is now at 99 Celsius. And so it only has to go from 99 Celsius to 110 Celsius, which is super fast, two, three seconds the first time. Um, actually, I think it takes five seconds for me to go up to temperature for the very first shot of the day. And then the second step was all about temperature accuracy, getting the valves hot, getting everything hot. Now that I've cut back to one second. And the reason is when that hot water goes through and it hits the group head, uh, we're finding that the accuracy is really good. In fact, it's, it's, there's, there's no loss in temperature accuracy at all. And so I don't see a big reason to have that second heater test 
last a long time unless I really need it to be perfect. I do recommend if you're using cafe mode for the first shot of the day that you should flush. Okay. Just flush for a few seconds at those two things that will fill the water tubes up so that all the air gaps are gone. But now I've got hot water that's flushed through that's sitting on all the valves, all the plastics um, and warming everything up. So when you finally go to make your coffee now, <clears throat> it's fairly fast. Right, two seconds is what it took because I did everything with that flush. I wanna say one more thing about the heater test, which is the second stage. The heater test happens at a certain flow rate. Now think of water going through the hot water heater, getting mixed and then going to a sensor and then flushing down. Okay, that's what's happening during heater test until this valve says, okay, temperature, okay. And then the water goes to the coffee puck. Now, in the past, when you start your espresso, you've always seen the flow rate climb for about two seconds. And the reason is the pump has got to climb up, there's airspace to get rid of. And so the flow rate at the start of the shot takes a few seconds, like two seconds, to climb up to the speed you want. Now that is gone if you use the cafe mode. And the reason it's gone is because, let's say you're doing a pre-infusion flow rate of four milliliters per second, that's the default. And the cafe mode is set to do a heater test at four milliliters per second. That means the hot water goes through the heater, through the mixer, hits the valve, and it's already going four milliliters per second. So when the temperature is right, it just flips and the existing water just hits it at four milliliters per second. So the thing about this is it means your pure infusions will be slightly shorter, but where it really has an effect is if you're using a fast pre-infusion, right? Uh, you're trying to emulate old Italian espresso machines that are six or eight milliliter per second pre-infusions. Previously, you were starting at zero and trying to climb to eight milliliters per second, and that was taking three or four seconds. Now that's happening through your heater test stage. So what I recommend you do, and we're still experimenting with this, all, uh, all of us together, is <clears throat> have the heater test flow rate, and I'll bring it up again, okay? So I'm talking about the thing here on the bottom right, that is currently set to four milliliters per second. I think we want to set that, or you want to set that to the flow rate of your current shots pre-infusion. So if you're doing a profile that's eight milliliters per second, set that to eight. And what that will do is give you that big rush of water so it quickly compacts the puck, as opposed to a ramp up of water that goes quick and then compacts the puck. So that should give you uh, an emulation of the older machines that's more accurate to how those machines work. And uh, the short-term results, the results people have talked about is yes, in fact, their pre-infusions are going faster, uh, are ending faster, and the puck appears to be compressing even more, the shot's a little slower. And the real goal here from an emulating old machines uh, standpoint is to make a shot that's super thick and syrupy. And it, appears that slamming the puck at the very beginning is an element of that, okay? Just whack, compress it as fast as possible. So that's a really interesting new side effect of this cafe mode that I, I really like. Now I'm tempted, we'll see, because we just released this a week ago, I am tempted to make this heater test flow rate match your pre-infusion automatically. And we might do that in a month, unless we find that there's any downsides. But until I do that as a programmer and you guys come back to me and say it works well, it's gonna be manual here, okay? And the heater test timeout for the faster flow rates, you might need to put it to three or four seconds, right? Because the, the pump still needs to ramp up to that. And you want the flow rate to be at the goal when that valve opens and puts water on the puck. Was that information overload? You guys got all that? Um, and if you decide to go back to something else, um, you can always hit the defaults. You can also lower your power consumption, which I tried for a week and I lowered the hot water heater to 60 Celsius. My power consumption, I think was 0.7 amps while the machine was hot. And the espresso start time was the same as 80. So it, it, it took me about 20 seconds to make my first shot when I did that. 
that didn't bother me because I was using less electricity, the machine was more eco. There you go. Now you have control over that. Thank you.